Welcome to Visual C++ Do While Loop Tutorial. You see, the Do While Loop Tutorial is a variant of uh, while loop. This loop will execute the code block once before checking if the condition is true. Then it will repeat the loop as long as the condition is true. That is what Do While Loop is all about. I'm going to double click in here and just click it. Then let's enter another value you see that guys so that is how it works so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Visual C++ development environment uh, using the Visual Studio 2022 and we take it from there and let's open up Visual Studio 2022 and create a new project and let's select C++ make sure you are actually selecting clrmtproject.net click on next let's give that a name I'm gonna call it CPP Y loop there and let's click on great okay the development environment is is ready as you can see there's no form or anything so I'm gonna click on the solution explorer in here and here you see the properties click on the properties so what we're trying to do now is to create the form itself you see here inside the properties you click on the linker and for those of you who are using window 32 make sure you change this to 32 okay in my case I'm using 64 bit okay so now come straight to the configuration properties you see the linker drop it down and select system and now go in here see where we have subsystem change that to windows subsystem windows now come back down here where we have the configuration properties you see where we, we have advanced select the advanced entry point make that just enter main right in there you then click on apply and click on ok there we go now the next thing you now want to do is right click on the name of your project and select add and then select new item once you select new item this dialog box pops up you now want to select CLR you can also select UI but I'm going to set it for CLR and select Windows form click on add leave the name see the name where we have that we have in there my form I'm gonna leave it as my form click on add there we go your form will pop up however it will come up with an error and there we go guys you end up with an error but that's no problem click on the solution explorer now double click on myform.cpp once you double click on myform.cpp this is what you get Okay, include myform.h now in here you need the following lines of code you will get that in the in this forum that is it those and that's the following lines of code that I need I'm gonna right click on it and just copy it close that paste the copied lines of code here I have an error why because this I should enter the name of my project in there and the name of my project is CPP why loop there we go the error should disappear now there you can save that if you run your program the form should pop out anytime from now there we go guys that's the form but the problem is you see this very form is not here it's not on the solution explorer just yet so what we have to do is we need to close the whole system and start it all over make sure it's saved I'm going to close everything and reopen it okay I'm going to right click and just reopen my form dot uh, cpp that is it coming up now and right there so if we go to the solution explorer now we should be able to double click on my form dot h and the form should appear now there we go all right, so we can now start work with whatever we want to do. Just going to drag it that much. Okay, now. 
I'm going to go straight to the toolbox here and select panel. Let's place the panel right there somewhere. Yeah, that's fine. Go to the properties. And you see the the border style. I'm going to change that to fix 3D. Change the color to Kdet Blue. The choice is yours. You don't have to do any of this. It's not required. Now I'm going to click on the panel again. Copy the panel and change the color of this very panel that I've just added to control. The control is the default color. There we go. Now copy this same control and just paste it there. Right there. That's good enough. Drag it that much. I will now add a list box. So let's come in here. Grab hold of a list box. Add that right here. There. And need a text box, a label here, and a text box right underneath text box here and a button there we go so all of the added components let's select them all and change the font size go back into the design hold on to the control and click on the properties to change the font select the font and I'm going to make the font about Let's go for 32, 36. And here, I may have to change this to reduce the size of that. Reduce that to maybe 20. Okay, make that 22. That's fine. All right. So now, this very one here, the label, I'm going to change it label to enter a number. There we go. And this text box that is going to be known as txt while loop. There we go. This button is going to be known as btn while loop. And the text content on it, I'm going to change that to cpp do y loop so i'm going to also get it centered or something like that there we go there okay double click on that very button and right in here in the procedure area of that very button I'm going to start by first of all let's use try the try that would be just to handle whatever error that I might get into so I'm going to say try cache and let's enter exception exception by E and let's enter coil braces now use message box in there message box column column I would like you to show the following default message so e dot message so what this will do is just to undo whatever error that I might get into it's a good practice I think you guys should try that now right inside the try first of all I will declare a variable that I'm gonna call I and I am going to initialize it with the value 1 there now let's say do I want it to do as follows enter curly braces it wants LST while loop dot items dot add and what do we want it to add we want it to add whatever value we have inside i and at the same time we will want i to get incremented so you enter i plus plus now for i to know the value to undo enter in there i'm going to now enter y 
pi is less than 13 do as follows and that's it so let's save that and give it a try just to see what we have done so far so click on run and now click on this button there we go it actually generated 1 to 12 that is good depend on whatever value you enter in here if you like you enter 100 plus 123 run your program and see what's going to happen and that would be the value that will be generated there we go from 1 to 122 there okay now let's change that to 13 back to 13 just for multiplication timetable now if you notice here I actually enter a text box the purpose of this text box is for me to be able to convert this to a multiplication timetable and to achieve that I'm going to say I plus the plus means I would like it to concatenate so I enter the sign multiply then come out of there enter another plus and I would then want it to enter display whatever value that we may have inside the text box but guess what let's declare another variable for the text box I'm gonna call it Q Q equals let's convert column column to int 32 and what I'm converting is whatever we have inside txt y loop dot text so I have converted that now that is Q so and that's the Q I'm going to enter in here enter Q in there and get it concatenated again so which means bring it together now here and I want to say I multiply by Q and that is it I've just created multiplication timetable so let's try this out now run it and you will also see the advantage of using try there we go enter whatever value in there that is the multiplication timetable for that okay supposing I enter unwanted character there we go look at that this message pops up telling me no that is not allowed input string not in the correct format that's very very good now if input string is not in the correct format I would then want the system to get rid of whatever data I have in there so I can always say LST paste that in here dot item dot clear there we go and I will also want to clear whatever item I may have inside the text box so we can just copy this paste it here and grab hold of the text box itself paste that in here clear that and this text box I would then want you to set focus dots because there so once you enter any garbage in there the system will clear it out and it is set focus in right inside the text box let's run that and see there we go enter whatever garbage in there there get rid of it you see it's set focus straight into the text box again until you enter the correct value or a correct value that you want now one other thing is we should be able to clear it if you want to clear it you can just select this okay and select the list box let's go to the properties of the list box and where we have event I'm going to look for double click when I double click on the list box I would like it to clear the whole text in there so that is it right there double click on it and right in here I'm just going to copy this paste it right here and I should take care of that run the program and let's see how that is going to work as well there we go enter whatever value in there double click on that there we go alright there's one error that I've just noticed now I was meant to change this to equals so let's come in here and just change that to equals 
now run the program again because I copy the concatenated field that was why now let's see there we go look at that that's how it's meant to be double click on that there try out eight there double click try out seven and so on and that is how you create your own do while loop in visual C++ and just before I call it a day I'm gonna show you guys the lines of code again there we go and that's it I'm gonna say bye for now